another video from Nectar Insights. I'm Buddy Mary and today's video is all about THCA. What the funk is it? Let's find out. If you like these videos don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below. Before we get into what THCA is let's start with the super basic basics. Cannabis. Cannabis as we know is a plant that we have evolved side by side with for as long as there's been humans that we know of. We have an endocannabinoid system which is really enough proof that you need to show that we did evolve side by side with this magnificent plant. The fact that it's illegal now is absolutely ridiculous. The discovery of the endocannabinoid system is probably one of the biggest medical discoveries to date, but yet the endocannabinoid system is not taught in medical practice. It's not taught in medical schools. I feel that this shows that Western medicine is more interested in pushing big pharma than actually getting in touch with real wellness and health and real nature. The endocannabinoid system needs cannabinoids, but what are these? Well, these are the key chemicals that are found in the cannabis plant alongside terpenes and flavonoids, and these are what we are learning now or give it a real medicinal whack. We are learning the extreme importance of the relationship between the cannabinoids, flavonoids and terpenes, known as their entourage effect. There's over 400 cannabinoids within the cannabis plant, and we're still only learning of what a handful of those can do. THC and CBD are the most well-known of these cannabinoids. THC, or tetrahydrocannabinol, is what gives you that high wavy feeling, and it's also a hella good painkiller. CBD, or cannabidol, is non-psychoactive, which means it doesn't get you high, but it is a massive anti-inflammatory, as well as many, many other things. Check out our videos on CBD that we've already posted on our YouTube video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can keep getting notifications every time there's new videos. CBD or cannabidol does not get you high. It's not a psychoactive, but it is a massive anti-inflammatory and you can get high on life when you are free of pain, stress and anxiety. Well, CBD is legal in the UK, but THC is not. All products need to be under 0.2% THC to be considered legal within the UK. Unfortunately, this does mean that THCA falls under that umbrella of illegality. So, what is THCA? Well, it is Delta 9 Tetrahydrocannabidolic Acid. Hmm. There's usually more THCA than THC found in a raw, unprocessed cannabis plant. This is why we decarboxylate or decarb our cannabis before we turn it into edibles. When we decarb, we can lose up to 50% of the cannabinoids, which does mean that your overall total of THC after will not be the total of THCA and THC that you had in the plant to begin with. When we smoke or vape cannabis, it's heating or combusting the bud, which turns the THCA into THC, which is why we get high when we're smoking it or vaping it this way. Even though it's not being turned into THC, THCA has a lot of medical benefits, but you don't have the high feeling alongside it. So for people who need the pain relief and need the medicine, but don't need the high feeling, this is going to be perfect for you. THCA is a massive anti-inflammatory, particularly for inflamed bowels. It's great to boost your immune system. It's got great general benefits for your nervous system, as well as an antispasmodic and a pain relief. There's still a lot more research to be done into this wonderful molecule, as well as all the other molecules. We're barely scratching the surface. We've got so much more to learn from this incredible plant. How can you take THCA? Well, just don't cook your weed. Don't smoke your weed. Eat that stuff raw. Pop it on a sandwich, blitz it into a smoothie. You could even try making a little tincture of your own at home, a cold brew using the raw cannabis, then you won't be losing any of those all important medical chemicals. Have you tried any THCA products or have you tried making edibles at home and forgot to decarb it? What was the experience? How did it feel? Does THCA sound like something that would suit your lifestyle better than THC? Let us know below in the comments. If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for joining today. We hope you enjoyed. I'm Buddy Mary and this is Nectar Insights. We'll see you next time.